Welcome back, Bunny Flocks here. Before we get started in this next video, I want to give away, do the giveaway for the book, Operator Handbook. If you remember the last video, this was the giveaway. Pretty dope, pretty good. It's like a, a beefed up version of the red team, blue team manual, and it has some other extra stuff in there. So join me here on the, uh, the giveaway screen at the uh, random comment picker here. What was the, uh, was it free book? Operator handbook. Operator handbook was what you had to put. Operator handbook. I'm gonna get the comments. Two, okay. Let's see who gets that. Dave Leachman, you won the book. I'll reach out to you, uh, get your information so I can send that out to you. Appreciate you checking out the video, entering the contest. Thank you for that. Tell you what, I don't have a book to give away uh, for this video, but I'll do another random one. If you put in free cyber security book in the comments, up to $50, I will send you if you win a cyber security book. It has to be information technology, cyber security, uh that's pretty much it those two it cyber security hacking etc etc so if you want a free book free cyber security book in the comments so on today's topic i figured since we were on the uh the topic of firewalls pf sense uh in particular i wanted to revisit stigs in some kind of way i figured what fun could we have? And I thought, hey, what if I pull down the Stig Viewer, pull down the Stigs for a generic firewall and just Stig myself? Um, just for fun, you know what I mean? Just to go through some of the steps. Uh, mind you, I haven't looked at the firewall Stig. I don't know if it's huge, if it's small, how technical it is. Um, I figured it could be just fun to just go to the site, CyberMill site, uh, pull everything down and just play with that. Um, anybody can do this. Um, you know, there is the public site. It is it's free to unclassified site. Pull down the stakes. And depending on what you have, applications, operating systems, you know, hardware, um, you can always stick yourself based on the DOD regulations. You know what I mean? So, um, and again, as I stated in the stick video, it's not a see-all, be-all. Uh, you know, if you stick yourself and you're complying on everything, it doesn't mean you're on, not, not hackable. It just means by DOD by DOD standards, uh, you're okay. You know, it's just the regulations, it's just the baselines that they put out there for you know from DISA. Um, so I figured that'd be fun to do. All right, so if you're at the Cyber Mill, this is the DISA site where you can get the stigs, where you can get the stig viewer, you can get all the SRGs and regulations to you know to stig yourself and, and check yourself. Um, I'm just going to pull down everything. I think I showed you this, guys, before. But just for fun, I'm just going to pull down everything again, put it on my computer. Uh, I'm going to do that here, open link or save. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to wait an hour for this. Hopefully not. Um, that, that wouldn't be really uh, time optimal. Alternatively, I can cancel this. Okay, so I canceled that because I'm not going to wait here now for that. Um, but let's go back and pull down the firewall. There's a generic firewall stake. Um, you could probably search for it here. You type in firewall. See if it points me to the firewall stake. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got 36 pages. I want to say this is it. Yeah, so I, I want to say this is it. This is the firewall SRG. So we have uh, the link here on classified firewall version one, revision five SRG. So I'm just going to click that and save that to my desktop. I'm not going to pull all of those down because I, as you saw, it was going to take about an hour. So we're just going to do it that way. Make it pretty clean and simple. Both of these should be done pretty quickly. So here's the firewall. I'm just going to extract it here on the desktop, same place, and here we go. Boom. 
And again, these are the same steps. Um, if you're confused about what I'm doing, these are the same steps that I followed uh, in the intro to Stig Viewer. Let me just pull the uh, the Stig specific for Windows. I pull the, mm, okay, here we go. Win64, that's what I have. Save link as desktop, sure. All right, so we're pulling the Stig viewer now let me delete these guys all right so i have the firewall stake downloading and i got the win64 stake viewer downloading once that's complete we can go ahead and get started here hopefully it's not too crazy um like i stated i never really looked at it before i never stigged a generic firewall um this uh dod they do have different versions of firewalls that uh, they are specific to specific firewalls that the vendors work out and work with this on. Um, I have PFSense. Actually, you know what I should do? I should search and see if there is a PFSense specific stick. I doubt it, um, to be honest, but it doesn't hurt to look. So I'm going to go back to the library compilation and I'm going to actually type in the search here. Like I did for firewall, I'm going to search for PFSense. Perhaps there's some environments out there that are using PFSense in the government. I'm not sure. It could pop up. Uh, and I don't really see anything. As far as, yep. Okay, so I, they don't have it, um, which is fine. We got the six. The stick viewer here is taking about 20 minutes, so we're going to stand by for that. Okay, finally. It wasn't that long. It was like 10, 15, 20 minutes, but we got the stick viewer downloaded this is trash we're going to extract this and then hope it will mm, work so we can get started on sticking my pf sense firewall do 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 oh that's right this was a bad file run as administrator yes we're going to add the generic firewall stick that I uh, downloaded. Um, so we're going to do file, import stick. It is on the desktop. Should be. Do, 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 do. It is this one. Firewall. Boom. Click it. And here we are. So these are the checks. I'm recording, right? So we take a quick look. Doesn't seem like a lot's happening. As you, if you look down here, we got 33, which isn't too much. Um, what I want to try to do is go through some of these depending on how difficult or time consuming they, they are. I want to at least do a one of each, right? One of each that is so one of an open, one of a not a finding, and what of a not applicable. Um, first, I'm going to do a checklist. Create a checklist. So now we have a checklist. Easy stuff. Um, and then as you can see, if you come to the status here, set status. So you have open, not a finding, not applicable, not reviewed. So I'm going to do at least one of the four, but I'll, I'll do enough of this to where I'm, I'm checking myself and grading myself on my, my PF sense. Um, Again, uh, if you are again, if you are an ISO or an ISM or security engineer, um, and this is part of your job, you'll be doing this on your environment at at work or private sector or home or whatever. Um, my introduction to this was I was um, the validator, pretty much inspecting someone else. Um, but again, it is what it is. For background information, check out Intro to Stick Viewer. So we can start from the top, and I'll work my way down. Um, if I have to log into the PFSense admin uh, web interface, I will. Let's take a look at the very first one. Fire, the rule title is the firewall must be configured to use filters that use packet headers and packet attributes, including source and destination IP address and ports, to prevent the flow of unauthorized suspicious traffic between interconnect networks with different security policies, including blah, blah, blah. And then you, you'll see it'll see, somewhat seem silly because we're checking a firewall and this is what firewalls are meant to do. But, you know, we could read through it. Uh, there might be something in here that says, hey, if you, if you don't have this, uh, you know, if you have this bullet list of things, but you don't have this, it's a finding. So we'll see. 
So we can uh, look at a discussion here. It says configure filters to perform certain actions when packets match specific attributes, including the following actions. Apply a policy, accept, reject, or discard packets. Classify packets based on their source address. We're doing that, you know, with the BOGON and the RFC uh, 1918. If for me, what I would do, I would consider this not a finding. We're doing basic, I mean, it's a firewall. It's, it's doing what it's doing. So I'm going to right click on this, set status to not a finding. And so we'll have out of the 33, uh, we have 32 not reviewed, and we have uh, the first one here, not a finding. All right, so let's jump to the, the third one here. The firewall must deny network communications traffic by default and allow network communications traffic by exception. Deny all permit by exception. We know we're doing this. Um, it, it actually, uh, the WAN is denied by default, right? Nothing can come in. There's no, um, there's no rules that allows outside traffic from coming in. Um, however, it does allow, uh, if you're on the inside reaching out to a site, the state table will, you know, will recognize that traffic coming from internally and allow traffic back in, but it has to originate from the inside. It can't, it shouldn't originate from the outside trying to hit in. So we know we're denying network communications by default. Uh, deny all permit by exception. That's pretty much what the WAN does by default on PFSense. Um, this one will also be not a finding because you know this is happening. Uh, so I'll set this to not a finding. I want to see if I can try to find one that's open. Okay, there's a good one. So the next one, <clears throat> the, firewall, the firewall must block outbound traffic containing denial of service attacks to protect against the use of internal information systems to launch any DOS attacks against other networks or endpoints. I know for a fact I don't have that um, configured on the firewall. I'm not out there, you know, DDoSing anybody anyway. Uh, a good and, and a good way of you know reading through these and learning is seeing how how you can implement it if you wanted to implement something like this. Um, so let's see what they have here. Fixed text. Associate a properly configured DOS firewall filter to outbound interfaces and security zones. Apply a firewall filter to each outbound interface example. So they have the examples here. Set security zone, security zone, untrust interfaces, set security zone, trust screen, untrust screen. And I'll be honest, I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, I know I don't have that. Um, so I'm going to mark this as open. So see, now we have our one red. So far, so good. Let's see if we can find the not applicable here. Pretty easy example of a not applicable. Um, it says here the rule title, the firewall that filters traffic from the VPN access points must be configured with organization defined filtering rules that apply to the monitoring of remote access traffic. At this time, I'm, I'm not, I don't have a VPN set up. I'm not uh, connecting back to my network from the outside. So this would be an obvious not applicable. There's a major difference between not applicable and open. Um, something is open or, or a finding when the technology uh, is present but you're not following the actual check. A great example to tell the difference between not a finding and not applicable is not applicable usually, not all the time, not applicable is applied to where they're asking about a specific te technology implementation software that you don't you do not have in your environment um, so I wouldn't mark this as open or a finding because I don't have VPN access points I'm not I don't have a solution where I'm coming in from the outside connecting to my network as if you know I'm connecting through a VPN so that's an easy not applicable going through this is uh, can be very extraneous can be tedious but if you take your time and go through each one you can definitely learn a lot um, what I like to do sometimes, if you see something you don't understand, the check, what is asking, do the research on your specific uh, solution, technology, software, whatever you're using, and see if you can meet the control. See if there's uh, a package you have to install or configuration you have to do to meet the control. This is pretty much what a lot of IA work is. Um, you know, when you're working on the government, you're working on these technologies and you're sticking yourself. You have to understand what the, the check is asking for. You have to understand your environment. 
and you have to understand how to enforce or implement the check and if it's again if it's feasible um, if your particular environment can do it if you don't have a business operational or technical limitation um, to implement the check so um, again hopefully this is just a nice fun uh, stig refresher um, get a little bit more in depth I'm gonna do a few more let me do some more uh, the firewall must be configured to allow authorized users to record a packet capture I can do that as an admin of the firewall I can do that here's another example of, of not applicable the firewall must restrict traffic entering the VPN tunnels I don't have VPN tunnels to the management network definitely don't have a management network uh, to only the authorized management pack is based on destination so that's definitely not a finding uh, or not applicable I should say and so you can see um, you know as you do these more you get to understand the lingo you get to understand how to check yourself um, I'm obviously not gonna go through all 33 of these but I just I just felt like it would be fun to revisit stigs again um, apply it to my PFSense firewall I'm probably gonna do these when I have some time on my own e even though again th these are DOD stakes so for something as simple as a home solution um, these are probably way overboard you know um, it, it's probably still fun to go through and, and see how you stack up against a firewall environment in, at, in a, at the DOD you know military level um, but there's, there's gonna be a lot of stuff on here that doesn't apply to a small environment to the home environment um, but again if you want to stay informed, if you want to understand the lingo, you know, do you can you can do one for Office. You know, go to PowerPoint. If you have PowerPoint, open a PowerPoint stick, go through the checks, check yourself. Um, they have Adobe products. They have other type of servers. They have Linux. They have Macs. They have all type of things. You know what I mean? So, take the time, educate yourself, learn this thing. And again, this is just for government IA work. This isn't. I'm not I can't speak on the private sector um, I would imagine they have something different or maybe they utilize this uh, I'm not I'm not sure to be honest but just thought it would be fun to go through that and uh, revisit stakes um, that's all I have for today if you like this video please like share subscribe I do appreciate every view every share every like every comment and if you have if, it, if anybody has any specific topics they want me to discuss in regards to RMF, EMAS, DISA, STIGS, um, please hit the comments as well. I'll do a video uh, as soon as I can. Um, again, that's all I have for today. I want to thank you for your time and I will catch you next time. Thanks.